The man hoping to become South Carolina's top judge says the state's judicial system needs more accountability and transparency, but he stopped short of advocating for the judicial selection process to be overhauled as some are urging. State House reporter Mary Green has those details. South Carolina is one of two states where the legislature elects judges, which is next scheduled to happen here in the spring. But before then, judicial candidates go through a screening process to determine who's qualified and narrow down the field. That vetting culminates over the next two weeks as candidates appear before this panel known as the Judicial Merit Selection Commission or JMSC. The vetting process is much more arduous and deep than I think most people realize. It's a process Justice John Kittredge has been through many times in his 30 plus years serving on South Carolina benches. Now he's going through it as the only candidate vying to succeed retiring Chief Justice Donald Beatty as the state's top judge. I have served on every major court in South Carolina. I'm the only person ever to have done so. So I do believe I have a good sense of what happens on the front lines because I've been there and I've experienced it. Kittredge took questions about how he'd handle challenges the state's judicial branch faces, responded to concerns that he's too conservative, and outlined his judicial philosophy, which he described as one of restraint. Judges adjudicate. Judges do not legislate. This year's judicial screenings come as calls are growing for South Carolina to change the way it selects judges, with the governor, attorney general, solicitors, and some lawmakers among those urging reform. There are very few complaints against judges in South Carolina. And why is that? I hearken back to my original comments to you. It's the vetting that goes on here. But he also says perception is a reality. So if the public doesn't believe the judicial system is fair, then it isn't. Enhanced, increased transparency and accountability on all fronts in the judicial branch will help promote public confidence in the integrity of our system. And a new House of Representatives committee has been tasked with taking a closer look at judicial reform and issuing recommendations for the legislature. That committee will meet for the first time on Tuesday. At the same time, the JMSC is screening more judicial candidates. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.